Welcome. This is Stories, Wisdom, and Recipes. I'm Lawrence Pugliese, and this is the year-end, new year program. We do it every year, and the swims, once again, are our guests. They'll be performing music for you, as well as sharing some of their thoughts, ideas, insights, and spontaneous whatever. But first, I have a little something to share with you. Beyond Mid-Bloom, it is called. How is it that when someone stirs the intellect and emotion of a wide array of people, there will inevitably be those who want that individual stopped? At the same time, there are community holiday celebrations on Main Avenue and photos of old one-room schoolhouses in New England covered with pure white snow, sales at boutiques and eggnog cupfuls of delight, Friends sneaking out for a drink, behind the garage for a puff, cigars and sour mash, chocolate and coffee, wet kisses and impassioned embraces as twilight traces this wonderfully intimate period of the year. Yet still, outside our enraptured enclave, exists the characters of fear and ill will. Can this segment of reality be simply given some sort of pill in the form of medicine or maybe militaristic might? Is it an internal or existential fight? Are we but self-indulgent, shallow fools or hopeful, naive, and idealistic mules? Ought eight is upon us very, very soon. Will it be better for most or just another 12 months of chest thumping, buttocks wiggling, Wallet flushing, spiritually devoid high noons. Let us evolve and grow past mid bloom. Ladies and gentlemen, the swims. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year. I'm going to have one more of you. Okay? Mm -hmm. One, uh, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Was awesome, Brian. We have Brian Lang on guitar and lead vocal, Michael Nordberg guitar, and uh, 
Backup vocal. Hat Wallace at bass and Rick Finnerty. That's right, Rick Finnerty on drums. And we have a couple of the guys coming to the table. We have a nice discussion. And while they're setting up their microphones, I'm going to share some true findings regarding the human species a la Harper's Magazine. These are true findings. Researchers found that students whose names begin with A or B tend to receive better grades than students whose name begin with C or D. They also found A and B named students to be more plentiful at top tier law schools than at less prestigious ones. And that baseball players whose names begin with K, which denotes a strikeout, are more likely to strike out. True, true findings. It was reported that short people think they are more unhealthy than the uh, taller ones, that children who sleep less are more likely to be obese, and that obese children who watch too much television are more likely to have high blood pressure. Hmm. An American study s sequenced the genome of dandruff. A New Zealand scientist created a robot that can grade and sort kiwi fruit. And British Minister of Defense unveiled an invisible tank. All true findings, a la Harper's Magazine. Come on now, who's writing this stuff? Uh, the um, kiwi, kiwi shooting tank? Yeah, no, 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 not a kiwi shooting tank. There's a robot that can grade and sort kiwis. And then there's an invisible tank, the British Pe defense minister says. An invisible tank. Honest to God, he's unveiled it. People named Jerome are more likely to have the <laughs> I don't uh, I'm not joking with I you. I thought it was a joke. It's not a tank. joke. He's unveiled it. It's, it's psoriasis as well as dandruff? No, just dandruff. And just, just people named Jerome. Genome. 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 Uh, Genome. Am I mispronouncing it? I don't know. I don't yeah, know. I might be. So they got robots that strike them. out. No, the robots are just with the kiwi, Brian. That was, that was an incredible article. <laughs> this this like world is so more. big I have and more I am for so later. small. <laughs> Those were nice findings. Aren't That's they nice? Yeah. Any of them, like, what, what are your well, names red. you got? Well, you got well, Rick, so I don't know how that affects you. Any A's or B's or C names here? Man. Let's see, Brian, so you're yeah. likely to what get a B All right. in school. I was, like a, I was like a mid B average student. And you're also likely to get into a top tier law school. More likely than a C or a Carl or David. That guy really? can talk his way out of anything. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, welcome, gentlemen. You. Welcome. Thank you for having nice, me. Nice to have you here. You guys sound excellent as usual. Third me. year. Uh, oh, my mic came off, I think. <laughs> I put the munchkin in the coffee thinking it would be like a sweetener. It just tastes like fried coffee now. We should use a more generic term than, than munchkin for them. I should. Yeah. Like the That's culturally small, insensitive as well. Small donut. Extreme balls. Yeah, extreme. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a good name for an album. Popos. <clears throat> all right, let me ask you some questions. Mike. How's the mic, okay? Sounds good. Uh, that all right, like here we go. math test. It does. What sticks out Same in your mind the most from the past year? I actually took a math test this year. I'm back on campus, for those of you who don't know. Uh, it took me a little while. I took a semester off six years ago, <laughs> and now I'm, now I'm back on. So I took a math class, and uh, you have to show your work. You can't just put the answer. They yeah. Want, they want to see the work. Yeah, I think I had you in a math class way back. Yeah, you did. Yeah. yeah. And you, had a, you did great. You got an A. Thanks. Thanks for mentioning did that. Did you cheat? Or? No, I didn't actually, okay. but the guy next to me, um, the guy next to me always used to try to cheat off of me. This was in a college class, and I was just kind of like, come on. Grow up, man. You know, I had to do this move. Well, you're older, so you know better. Right. You know more. Well, I'm non-traditional. Yeah. Non-traditional <laughs> student? Yeah. Yeah. As non-trad as it gets. But that's, that's what's happening with me. Okay. So that sticks out. A math test that he took. Interesting. How about you guys? Anything that sticks out in your mind most? Remember, this is the end of the year, sort of a New Year program. Anything that sticks out in your mind from the past year? I got married. You got married? So. Big year for this big thing. So did I. That's I got married fun. this year, yeah. too. Okay. Keep it going. Congratulations. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you. What year? Did, I mean, what month did you get married? July, July seventh. Awesome, June. Yep. I got married. Excellent, fantastic. And um, summer weddings. Mm -hmm. Did you summer guys use the word? Christmas did you guys use the word fiance a lot? No, no, I'm, I didn't. I've never been engaged, and I'm not married. But I'm looking forward to the day that I could use fiance. And mm -hmm. hopefully, my fiance's name will be Lisa or something like. Are you gonna that. go fiance? Call my fiance Lisa. <coughs> my fiance. Yeah, fiance. Yeah. yeah. What are you gonna go with, fiance or fiance? Fiance. Fiance Knowles. And they're going to make Fiance Knowles jokes to you? Yeah. yeah. Fiance Knowles? Well, I will. Yeah, you will. What is it? Yeah. I didn't get that. Beyonce. Oh, Beyonce. Mm. Oof. That, I, she's not in the limelight anymore, so maybe it's not as it's not a good Well, no, she's doing jokes. satellite TV commercials. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't watch TV. 
Well, well, no. That's why you're so smart. I know. I don't watch TV. Um, what sticks out in your mind most, Michael? Anything? I'm not really sure. Matt's wedding was fun. Oh, yeah? He invited <laughs> you? <laughs> was he not? Yeah. Um, oh, you were invited? <laughs> yeah, hey, you went. Oh, you ended up going. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure. <laughs> I can't you had really. that rental car for a while. I did have a, a rental car. Oh, wow. <laughs> had a, and it said, some, <laughs> said it in big letters on this. On this right. Side. Was yeah. it a nice model? No, it was a newer version of the car that I have, but uh, all the good things were gone. The like windshield wiper fluid. Windshield wiper fluid non-existent. Um, couldn't see out the back window because it was so small. These new cars are so. Uh, streamlined that you can't see anything. So was it a sporty vehicle? It was a Honda Civic. Honda Civic, stick or standard? No, they gave me a standard, which I. I mean, that's the same thing, stick or standard. Automatic. Right. Stick. They Those gave me an automatic, which I can't drive miles. very well. You, you couldn't? No. No, because I, I end up uh, stepping on the brake with my left foot a lot. Oh, you so. can't do that. No. <laughs> What shirt are you wearing? Is that a Bo Jackson shirt? It is a Bo Jackson shirt. Oh, that's shirt. great. Why don't, you, uh, why don't you take off that coat? Like, what are you doing with that coat? It, up on it, the is, back it is toasty. But, oh, you ever I'll see him snap up. a bat over his uh, thigh oh, when he strikes yeah. out? Well, he knows. That's incredible. The Bo Breaker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what they called that. He knows. They called that yeah. there was a car. I've seen it over the back of his, of his neck, too. There was a car that said Bo Breaker, and it was when he was smashing it over his thigh. Oh, wow. Yeah. I also had a back and black and blue Bo Jackson poster. Oh, the Because he played for the Raiders, and he played for the Royals. I had the classic, the football shoulder, the... Football pads and sure. like baseball. Yep. Mm -hmm. No steroids there. I'm just no, absolutely no. not. No. Borrowing the shirt. Well, men were men then. Yeah. Did you say there was a car, a commemorative, like automobile that commemorated him breaking the bat? Car? No, there was a. It was. I wish there oh, was. Oh, a card. Yeah. Like a. Oh. All right. I saw a car. I saw a card day that had in memory of. Of course, that'd be great. <laughs> a Beretta? Oh my God! They don't make those anymore, do they? <laughs> oh. No, you'll see their names written across. I saw a card day that had in memory, and it must have been like. You know, somebody they knew was like a memory of so and so on their car. Yeah, it was a, it was a memory, celebrity. Memory, the car was the car that the person was driving was in memory of this person who had obviously probably passed. Oh wow! So they just thought like in memory of this person, I can drive around the car. That's odd. I don't want that to happen. Like I want like on a tombstone or like or like a you know. But not on a car. Not on a car. Because cars get sold. Because cars get sold, and somebody else is going to come out with a scraper. And then <laughs> the person, yeah. Yeah. Right, right. And then the memory's done. Right. Yeah. yeah, I don't like that either. All right, here I have uh, another question for you guys. We'll start with um, we'll start with Brian on this one. What has remained the same over the, this past year? You know, last year we talked to you at the end of 2006. On, now it's the end of 2007. What has remained the same? Well, still working on that album. <laughs> Can't know it's actually <laughs> done. Um, same. Kept the hair similar. Yeah, it's looking say. good. Um, I don't know, guys. What do you what would you say about me? That's that's the same. Me, me in general, like in the in the. the you can take place. it wherever you want, Brian. Never ends. It still never ends. Um, Someone's gonna call you while you're trying to put something in your car. Yeah. And you're gonna have to put something on the top of the car to answer your phone if you choose to answer it. And then you know you're not gonna have your keys, or your keys are gonna be deep in your pockets. But not in the not in the same pocket, not in the opposite pocket of what you're holding. Right. It's going to be in this pocket. So you're going to have to go left into the right pocket while your phone's still vibrating. Never ends. That remain Never that ends. has remained the same. That's the same. That, that will change. always be the same. I still sweat a lot for no reason. You still sweat a lot for yeah. no reason. I say it's healthy, but I think it's unattractive. To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I, are you dating anyone at present? Yes, I am. A very wonderful girl named Patrice. Wonderful girl. Excellent. Yeah, moving in together this this month. Are you in Scranton? Or I'm, I'm, I'm back. Oh, I'm back, guys. I'm back. Yeah. Last year, I was in Philly. That's right. I was in Philly. Right. In You're Philly, back in filming, a, filming a show in Scranton. Yeah, I'm back. Where, where, uh, Big what, return. what part of Scranton are you living in? Um, I'm moving to North Scranton. North Scranton. Where I was, where I was raised. Okay. Uh, what, what has changed since last year? Then you're back. Well, I'm back. Anything yeah. else Big changed? Return. Back. Um, I got, I got, yeah, I'm back. I'm back. You guys. can't even say that. 11 <laughs> days. 11 no. days. Somebody saw me like a month and a half and I'm like, oh, you're back in Scranton, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> good left. You had I your room set up nice, though. I had a nice setup. You there. did have a room. We had that nice, nice show setup. there, too. Yeah. I, we, I lived above an art gallery. Well, it was like a house gallery thing. It was a nice setup. Lovely guy to live with, but, you know. Couldn't pay the bills? I could pay the bills. I just, I just wanted to come back. Yeah, it's a great I place. I had to be back. I hear you, man. I yeah. love it here. Of those 11 days that you lived in Philly, you were probably <laughs> in Scranton for eight of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I rented for six months, and I probably spent maybe 23 days total in Philly. Didn't get a job there. 
I don't want to, you know, it's dirty. This is it's where you're supposed to. It's, it's filth everywhere. It's a good place to visit, you're saying? Yeah, it really is. But home is no, here. It's not. Home is here. <laughs> well, it's a good place. Well, my room was a good place to visit. Well, it was a nice setup. I did have a nice setup. Now, Michael, what, what has remained the same for you? Hat. Matt. Yeah. <laughs> Michael. Um, it's on the editing. Yeah. Fix it. Uh, what, uh, we don't edit. Yeah, I know. You snipped that up, Ron. <laughs> well, this, this was the same. I just found out. I was talking. Um, <laughs> when, when, when you were kind of giving us a rundown of stuff we were going to talk about today, I asked Brian, I, and the one thing, sh share a story, I asked Brian, did I tell the story about the manager at the uh, Golden oh, Corral last year? That was year? fantastic. And he's like, yeah, you did. So that's the same. That's, that's still my go-to story, story when someone says, tell me a story. <laughs> it's become holiday tradition, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's a weekly tradition. Yeah. Yeah. It was the night before time. Christmas and the mad manager with the spatula. With the, with the broken ice scoop. Yeah, ice so, scoop. So, uh, yeah, that's the same. And what has changed since last year for you? You got married. I have a new story. Yeah, I got married now. I bought, I bought a house. I did a lot of, a lot of adult steps this year. Yeah? How old are Lo you? Lost, uh, lost some hair. Bought a crock pot. Um, are you 26. Are you 26? <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Adult stuff in your late 20s. Adult stuff. Yeah. Mid 20s. Yeah. Well, after mid. 25, it's late. He bought a, he no, bought it's a snowblower. He bought a he oh, yeah. yeah. I bought a oh, you're all really happy about that. <laughs> I don't believe in snowblowers. No? No, you yeah. got a shovel. I don't believe in shovel. You got a shovel. There. You're too loud. You have to They're see, noisy. Though. They're yeah, noisy. Shovel. Yeah, it's noise pollution. You don't know what. Mm. I think of the near your house. You don't have like a giant driveway or anything, do you? No. Oh, so you're doing all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's, you know, you have to, I have to like maintain like part of a road. <laughs> really? Is that bad? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of. It's well, a, maybe it's a lot we'll all get together in this summer. And Larry can show your. Come on up. We'll go up to Matt's house. Nice see the driveway. Mm -hmm. We'll go for a swim. Yeah. yeah. You have a pool? No. Oh. We're, we're by a lake. Oh, yeah. okay. Excellent. So, so you live in the so suburbs. Yeah. You're married and you have a snowblower. Yeah. That's pretty cool. He's got cool. two skidoos, yeah. too. Any other uh, no, purchases, Matt? No. <laughs> no. No? Yeah. Yeah, I, got a, I just got a motorcycle. Um, it's an older It's an 85 Yamaha. Um, kind of kind of half restoring it. What's the make? And what's the model? The model? Yeah. It's an RZ350. Can we get that up there? RZ350? Yeah. yeah. They're kind of they're kind of rare. They look really cool. And they I'm do. excited. I just I just got it. Just got it yesterday. Well, it looks neat. So. He's doing well. I got a scooter. He is. You got a scooter? Yeah, that was a big purchase. I got a new snow shovel. Yeah? Yeah. They're loud. No, they're not. They <laughs> sweat a lot. I don't like leaf they, they blowers the, either. They ruin the sidewalks. I don't like leaf but blowers. But it's a cold either. sweat. It's a real cold. Because you go inside and you're really hot. But yeah. you're still like... Your, your face is cold, but it's red, and you're sweating. That's how I'm going That's down, winter. too. I'm That's a heart winter. attack out on the sidewalk. No. <laughs> yeah, you with the a, shovel in hand. You got at least 60 years before something like that. Now, Larry, did you, get, know, did you get a, a new a lot one? Of hoagies, one because Larry. <laughs> did you have the problem? <laughs> what was that? I eat a lot of hoagies. Do you? Yeah. A hoagie. Like Last night I was at Denny's. Oh, what are you doing? 1230. Why don't you support the local? I had a buffalo chicken sandwich. Oh, that's They're pretty spicy. They're I had to do spicy. it because it's our, it's, it's, you know, we're, we're late night kind of guys. We, the glider's we not available? Out, we get it. Yeah, but, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, you know. Oh, you live up that I'm way? I'm up the way. I got you. I got you. George was there. George is still there. George is always there. He's at every doctor you go to. I George just Graham? Say hello to George. No, George from Denny's. Oh, George from Denny's. Yeah. He's also at, uh, I know he was at the Viewmont diner for a while, too. Was he? Yeah. He's a worker? Yeah. Is he like a short order cook? No, he's a busser. A busser? Yeah. When you go to Denny, say hello to George right. on behalf of the swims. Mm -hmm. Michael, yes. how about you? Remain the same, changed since the last year, anything? I don't have anything to say. Nothing at all? <laughs> Everything is Mike, I've, seen you, I've seen you grow in this last year. You've seen me grow? We all have. Yeah. Okay. We've been watching you, Mike. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I turned 25. That's different. But it's still the same. Fairly Coffee cold still cold spills. Beer. Coffee, does Coffee still spills. Yeah. That's pretty deep. Man. I get a picture yeah. from Mike about almost every day of the spill of coffee. We try to do that because coffee spills no matter what. Yeah. You, you're, the, you're the winner. You, you get good ones. Spill a lot of coffee. Like in a moving vehicle you're talking about? Or sitting on the Everywhere. Anywhere. You don't even have to be around it. You can put a cup <laughs> of, you know, one of those coffees on the table and we could all leave, go do our separate things with our own separate lives. And at some point, <laughs> just a little bit of coffee is going to hit that table. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. a constant, and yeah. it's going to drip down the side too. Yeah, I have. I don't know if I sent you this one. I it's got an energetic beverage. It really is. <laughs> it's well, kind it's of it's caffeine. Tone. This uh, happened once, and this was weird. This guy, this guy I work with, uh, filled up some some coffee in his cup from the pot, but it was cold. It had been sitting. Puts it in the microwave, 
you know, 45 seconds, whatever, opens the thing when it's done. There's no coffee in the cup. It's out, it's in the little tray that goes around it. Huh, he's looking, there's no hole in the cup. <laughs> so he cleans up the mess. He's like, let's try that again. Puts coffee in, puts it in, heats it up, and it's fine. That's same fine. cup. Same coffee. Same batch of coffee. Yeah. Same, same minutes. Two time. totally different results. <laughs> <laughs> That's a microwave spirit of some sort, yeah. I'd have to say. Yeah. yeah. Pat, thanks That's for right. sharing that. Uh -huh. How about you? A couple new things. My cat Rusty broke his leg. And that was pretty major. Did you have to put the cone? He's got it on right now. Wow. Lampshade, he doesn't like it. And he has a <clears> cast <throat> on, and I have to take him down to the Pittston uh, Animal Hospital emergency. I'm plugging left and right here. Like, you are. Um, I'm trying to get free service. Yeah, I'm trying to get <laughs> stuff. Uh, it happened on Thanksgiving, so I was there for six hours on Thanksgiving. And then he had another one Christmas Eve where I had to go back. Another episode? No, well, I had to, he had to change the cast. Oh, okay. Uh, so I was, at, I was there on Christmas Eve as well for another six hours. You're a good owner. Or uh, I shouldn't say It's not mine. It's my mother's cat. You're but a good I, son. But You're a good I, son. But I, but I love the little guy. How long have uh, you had it? He's a little rusty. Uh, the cat? Three years. Three maybe. years? Yeah. What color cast did he pick? Well, <laughs> it's good that you asked that. The, he's had about five of them on. The yeah. teal? Um, no, no, for the holidays, they gave him a red cast. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, they did. Are people signing it? Uh, no, they, no one signed it. Did we talk about it signing it. He's in a cage right now called, uh, you know, it's... It's Rusty's, Rusty's cage, oh. um, and uh, he's, he's, he meows a lot. Is this the norm for Rusty being in a cage, or this is just because of no, the No, Rusty moment? doesn't really care for the cage. No? But he's still, you know, he's still the old boy, and, uh, you know, that's pretty much the newest thing for me this year, and the fact that uh, um, gushers have re-entered my life. Gushers, and you're back in school. Yeah, yeah oh, gushers, yeah. Oh, they're yeah, they're, they're good. still out there. I'm back in school. I just figured I'd throw a random... I threw a random fruit snacks. Sorry about that. Oh, gushers are good. Yeah. I've been back to Lorna Dune crackers. They're shortbread cookies. What are they? Lorna Dunes. Never heard of Lorna Dune. They're shortbread cookies. You like the shortbread? Yeah, Nabisco makes them. I love, I love Nabisco's um, Lorna Dune cookies. Um, this is Stories, Wisdom, and Recipes. I'm here with the <laughs> Swims. <laughs> That's a lot of wisdom. We just <laughs> threw it out right there. And, uh, <laughs> That's not even stories. You're going to discover from this. This is excellent. No, this is, I love this. Uh, this is the oh, end of year, New so Year show, and the Swims are our guests for this every year. As long as they are around, they will be the guests for the end of year, New Year episode. As long they have as we're a, around there, we'll Yeah, as a band. What's that mean, man? Where we're going. Well, <laughs> as they say, nothing lasts forever, but we will. With the cold no November rain. Well, <laughs> that's nature. I guess that does last a lot longer in the context of forever. It's relative. Well, who's to say what's forever? Yeah. I'd like to see us here when we're like in our 60s or 70s with, you know, Mm -hmm. You think we'll look good? I think we'll look good. Can I tell you about the time that it was the, it was the year of the millennium? Um, and this kid, was, we were at a party. Can I say blunt? I can say blunt. Okay. <laughs> um, and the scumbag. God, this, this guy's awful. Um, I don't remember his name, right? Say it, because he's awful. He's probably in jail now. I probably wouldn't know. But anyway, we're at a party. And he's like, yeah, dude. Dude, I'm going to be smoking blunts with my grandkids next millennium. That's what he said. Oh, what a... Good role model, huh? It's right by your house, as a matter of fact. Really? <laughs> yeah. But he's not there anymore? Well, I, I, I don't think so. I think he punched somebody in the face because he was a dirtball, and the guy ended up dying and got in big trouble. Oh, wow. That's what happens when you right. punch people in the face. Somebody's getting hurt. You don't be hitting people. No, no. you really don't. No, you should not. You just pee in the grill and like, in the summer, and like before summer starts, so then when they start cooking, you're, you're cooking um, pee. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's <laughs> diabolical, I'd have to say. I've had some jerk neighbors in my day. <laughs> you peed in their grills? I thought about it. You're in trouble. Peed on the tractor before. Now, You're if anybody right. smells trouble. urine in their grill, they're going to be thinking you. Well, you know what? I shouldn't. I shouldn't Actually, no, you should have with everybody. should try to bark at the big dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Should be out with the pussies. That's right. Cats. Cats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the mouth. There, I, I would. <laughs> Who is going to make it? Who will find out in the long run? Beautiful. That was nice. Nice segue to get people's attention off of that. Um, there was you saw the play on words with the yeah, cat and the dog. I, right? I did totally. Okay, I did, did totally. You guys see that? I, uh, I it reminded me of a story that the uh, CEO of Miller once, uh, the CEO okay. Miller right. Brewing Company, they brought him in from I think New Zealand or Australia to take over the company, and and he was getting real aggressive against Anheuser Busch, you know, with all kinds of different uh, policy schemes, and the interviewer said, well, why, why are you being people are saying you're being over aggressive, and he said, hey. 
if you want to play with the big dogs, you um, you got to be ready to get pissed on. <laughs> That's what he said. He's reminding That's incredible. me. Incredible. Yeah. Sure. Do you remember when uh, George Mirasan came to the NBA, and they claimed that the only words he could say in English was "I love this game." No, yeah. I didn't buy that. You remember that? Do you remember no. that? No. Also and you get on, oh, I love this game. Also a film star. <laughs> My film John. star. A great movie. Yeah. We were talking about that last right. night because sometimes when you stand next to certain people, it reminds us of, of my giant. Yeah. All right, I have another I'm question for you. <laughs> how, um, how about predictions for 2008? Because in the second half of the show, we're going to curse even more. And we're going to also, and we're going to also, I cursed, I think. You cursed? Well, that's not really a curse. It's like, it's like, like saying balls. Like yeah. it's, we're TV cursing. Right, right, yeah. exactly. You can say this stuff. Frazier says worse. He does, yeah. He says the A double snakes word. That, that's worse than the P, I double, I'm talking about whatever. <laughs> He's just talking about. Oh, uh, here, here it goes. <laughs> we're going to sneeze. He has a cold. He's been <laughs> fearful of this moment all day. Predictions for 2008. Second half of the show, we'll, we have a lot of cool like top ten list stuff, but now predictions. 2008, um, any predictions? Predictions, predictions. Uh, well, go to Matt first. Go to Hat Wallace first. Okay, Hat. I think of something good. I was going to say, swims are still around. The show is still around next year. There'll be a Brian will slip. Look, look, tongue slip again on the program. <laughs> yeah, next year he'll curse again. <laughs> Ask your Antilly book. That's my, that's my, yeah. my prediction. There's gonna be construction. There's gonna be construction on the yeah, highways. It's gonna take a really long time to get places when you're driving through downtown. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, anywhere, I'm gonna have car trouble. Something that I'm gonna have like a major electrical appliance is gonna break when I need it the most. That's me. I could definitely see that happening. You predict that? How mm -hmm. about anything outside of the the, the personal realm? I think the Spurs are gonna have another good year. They did, they did win last year, didn't they? San Antonio, we're talking yeah, about San Spurs Antonio. basketball, NBA. Yeah. Okay. They're a classy ball team. What about uh, like presidential uh, election? Not who you hope. I, I I couldn't tell you. You know, not even following that's, it. That's that's Phil's expertise. He's in Greenland right I now. I was gonna ask you about Phil. He's in Greenland with his uh, '80s cover band playing for the troops in Greenland. That's pretty amazing. We have tro those troops in Greenland that we need, and um, they're they're dying here. Um, come on, Eileen. <laughs> so Phil hopped on the plane with with the gang. Well, the troops over. that we the have. Troops. The troops. The yeah. troops that we. Yeah, the forces. Because there's those pockets of resistance. Yeah. In Greenland. Really that Are they still using that in the news? Pockets, pockets of, resistance? of resistance. That was my favorite thing yeah. to happen. Pockets of resistance. In war. Yeah. Pockets uh, you of never resistance. Heard that? No, That's one of my yeah. favorite things to happen since since the war. Is to hear that term. You got to take the good with the bad, and I'm I'm. That's hilarious. The war on terror. Well, pockets of resistance. Pockets yeah. of resistance. There's so many terms there. Like, I saw this amazing thing today. It was a. It was a Pentagon with these two, I couldn't tell what it was. I think somebody made it. I've seen a lot of good things on cars. It was the Pentagon, I think it was homemade, and it had American flag things like the Twin Towers. It was pretty awesome. Between but, the but it was sideways. It didn't make sense. It didn't come across. I had to look into it for a long time. Well, why was it so cool to you? I'm not catching it. It wasn't cool. It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was overly patriotic. Nickelback's still going to suck. In the next okay, next he's just... Yeah, I agree with that. Nickelback's going to yeah. suck. Yeah. Some good things will happen, though. Yeah? Like, yeah. Yeah. I'll get a raise. I'll get a raise. Yeah. Yeah. You know. What does that mean? Are you talking about money? Yeah. Okay. Um, and Pat, any predictions? You know, th that war is going to keep on going. I'll, I'll go big for you. That okay. war is going to yeah. keep on going. I'm more interested in the war on drugs. You know, I think that we're finally going to take down <coughs> drugs in the next <laughs> in the next year. Uh, a c you know, catastrophe is going to happen somewhere. It's going to have uh, a go Someone's going to kill someone, and it's going to be on CNN. Uh, but then that'll just bring people closer, won't it? For two days, oh, and then we'll go show. back to you know screaming at each other. Um, New York City is still the greatest city in the world. Remember that. Second to Scranton, of no, course. No, no, no. I just said, but San Diego <laughs> was recently the greatest city in the world because they went through the fires. Oh. Or no, their firemen were the bravest. Right. Right. Because of what they. But I was Ooh. a little upset because I thought that the New York City. Firefighters were the bravest, but it's a tough thing to deal with as a person. Which one? Which group should I support more so? Yeah, they should have yeah. like firefighting competitions, and they could like have. Yeah, they're gonna have like an East Coast, coast West Coast. Yeah, it's like it's like uh, rapping. Uh, yeah, like uh, Biggie Smalls and, and Tupac. Down. Hose down. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be like that. Yeah, mm. it's heroes, hunger. heroes fighting hunger. heroes. And it's a lot of hunger in 2000. A lot of yeah, not talking like the big hunger. A lot of hunger right here. Oh yeah, and right at this table, we're all gonna be taking it. I'm gonna be in the hospital for something. I think. Something medical. Like, I'm not going to have the insurance, but something like with my stomach or something. Not like break a leg. 
I see that happen. Do I have Ga to visit? Gastrointestinal I think you're going to be problems. in there too, Pat. Do I have Something's going to happen to you. You think? Yeah. No, I think I'm good. I think, I think, I think I'm good in 2008. Mm -hmm. 2015? I'm going to have a rough 30s. I'm setting up for God a rough willing. 30s. Hmm. You think? I got to get some more. I got to get some exercise. Uh, got to, you know. Some pants too would be nice. Yeah, I can, you know. Well, I mean... It's these, it's these model legs I have, Larry. Yeah, you do look kind of... I'm having trouble focusing. I think Cock 107 is going to win Best Gorilla Marketing Stunt again next year. And you guys are part of that mm -hmm. group. Yeah, I foresee that we're going we're gonna to hold... We're going to year after year. <coughs> it's a tough category, but we're going we're gonna to nail it every time. Well, I hope all these good predictions come through. And if you do get hurt, make sure you're on the mend uh, to the point where you're ready for this show, all right? Yeah. And we're, we're going to go to another song now, and then we'll come back to hear more from the swims in terms of their um, votes for best entertainer, best film, weirdest moment, most inspiring moment, and so on. There's so many good things, sweetest moment. So stay tuned for that. Right now you're gonna hear an excellent song while they set up. This song is called EV99. And while they're getting set up, I'm gonna give you one or two stats from Harper's Magazine. I love the Harper's. I haven't heard of them Oh man, like so far. Harper's is fantastic. Percentage of New, Year's, New Jersey residents who say they would like to move out of the state, 49%. <laughs> Percentage who aren't sure where, whether they would or not, 7. Percentage of U.S. women today who dye their hair, 55. Number of nations where more than 30% of the legislature is currently composed of women. 20. You guys ready? One more. One more and then we'll go. Percentage of NYU students who say they would, quote, permanently forfeit their vote for $1 million. 50%. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, once again, the swims. Big number. Okay. Let's nail it. All right. Let's, yeah, let's nail this one. This okay. one's forever, guys. All right, this one is forever.
kidding. I had it right, right there. The swims, wow. ladies and gentlemen. The right swims. Here, That's what it is. Stories, wisdom, and recipes. Glad to have him here, as always, <laughs> for the year-end New Year episode. And uh, as Brian and Matt come back, or Hat come back to the table, I'm going to read some more true findings regarding the human species a la Harper's Magazine. U.S. scientists announced the creation of super mice that live and reproduce much longer than normal mice, have highly efficient muscles, and can run four miles without stopping. A mutant race of vicious lab mice created by accident three years ago had been returned to docility through gene therapy, and Japanese scientists announced the creation of mice that are not innately afraid of cats, but can still be taught to fear them. Researchers found that people are attracted to people who are attracted to them. And that women, I love this one, who swing their hips most sexily when they are le least fertile, do this in order to reduce the risk of being impregnated by unworthy men. <laughs> I don't even know if I understand that. I don't that. understand that either. <laughs> I understand it. Well, you understand that? Sure. It's yeah. a classic case of less is more. Yeah. <clears throat> well, they figure if they're going to get into trouble, I don't, I, no, I, I can't, I can't understand that. Let me read it one more time. Researchers found that people are attracted to people who are attracted to them, and no. that women who swing their hips most sexily, most. when they are least fertile, do so in order to reduce the risk of being impregnated by unworthy men. So swinging their hips is so going to reduce the risk of getting pregnant by unworthy men. They're putting themselves out there. But they're not. Fertile. But they know. But right. they know. they're least fertile exactly. anyway. Right. So why don't they just not? So at that point in so time, they're not going to get impregnated by anyone. Right. <laughs> but why, why are they blanking the unworthy men? Yeah. I'm not sure. I, I put it out yeah. there because why are they I figured. Unworthy. <laughs> yeah. Why are they unworthy? That's what we want. Yeah. To know. <laughs> why are they? Yeah. Man. Harper's girls. What is the and setup for that experiment? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't What's know. What's the control for a, a worthy or unworthy man? What's the control group there? Yeah. Yeah. And would you be insulted if you were like in the control group or if you were actually the, the group deemed unworthy? <laughs> I mean, when you read the little, uh, little summary of what that was all about at the end, so you're not biased, but so you know what it, and you find out what group you're in. Yeah, you go to like, it's like you see if you made the play. It's an all-time Everybody runs to the roster. Yeah. Or like you make the football <laughs> team. And, and then, uh, yeah, everybody mm -hmm. leaves and you're standing there because you're the shortest one because you're the underdog in the movie. And you look up and unworthy, Brian Patrick lying there. <laughs> Or do they get like a get sense paid, of like, like most unworthy man of 2000 or whatever, and they get all them together? Well, we, well let's go. They, sh they, should, they should, like, ECD should do a best unworthy man. Well, who would you say is the, the most unworthy man? I'm not going to sling that stuff around. No? What, what do you mean? George Bush. George Bush? <laughs> no. Yeah. 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 Dick Cheney. <laughs> Dick Cheney? Yeah. I don't know if you watch the... Uh, Rick Santorum. He'd be, he'd be there. Most unworthy man? <laughs> yeah. Unworthy. I'll throw that out there. Unworthy I'll for what? i too. Unworthy for what, though? Vlad the Impaler. He's a jerk. Vlad the Impaler? That's what I'm, that's what I'm okay. Is he, is There's a lot of jerks in past the that. Robot? Because, <laughs> the robot? Yeah, the Kiwi robot. <laughs> he stuck, no. He's on the Kiwi <laughs> robot, stuff though. He pulls up people through their thing, up their mouth. And he's like, that's cool. Yeah, but that's you fiction, know? isn't it? No, I think he actually did that. He did that. Pretty sure he did that. Oh my god! I think there's a robot by that name too, and it's like <laughs> really success kiwis. successful in. Uh, uh, what's that robot competition show? Oh yeah. Uh, anyway, where I they beat each other up. There's a robot. Battlebots. Battlebots. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you didn't watch TV. You're I lied. just watched New American Gladiator. Tell them all about it. Is it really? I want to yeah. see that. I'd like to see the old. School. Best entertainer in the world of 2007. The year 2007. Best entertainer in the world, of the whole world. The whole world. I gotta stick with her. Shania. Shania? Shania yeah. Twain. Sure. She lives in Switzerland. Does she? Yeah. You think she's related to Mark Twain? I think so. Could be. Through marriage. Celine's done a great job. She, she, yeah, she's out of Vegas now. Yeah. Shania Twain, best entertainer of 2007? I can go Les Spindler. I can watch him. I, I, I will follow him around. He's, he's, he's great. Les Spindler. Yeah. I don't See, they take the garbage off, and they used to say that you could... Oh, is he a, a <laughs> is he a Channel sixty one guy? <laughs> yeah, city council guy. Absolutely, I think it's absolutely ridiculous. I watch uh, the whole thing. To, I watch just to see <laughs> if he's going to talk. Really? Mm -hmm. So you're a Channel sixty one council junkie? Council. I used council to be to watch TV. Yeah. yeah. Now you no, don't. I, I would. I mean, it would be like dinner time, supper time, supper's being made. Yuck. Sit down. 
That's what we're watching. It used to be really good. It used to be really good. And they used to put the repeats on. Yeah, you get Andy Spraglia, fellow Scrintonians. <laughs> awesome. Uh, oh, God, that's a good, that was a good impersonation. <laughs> yeah. I know Casey Beck. You know Casey. She's a yeah. good friend of yours. She yeah. was totally enamored by the character. Oh, yeah. We, yeah, we, she, we, we, a whole bunch of us would sit around watching. Yeah. We used to get together. Yeah. That's the thing I missed the most when I when I moved from Scranton out out of the city. I, I don't get that on my cable oh, you really channel. Don't? I don't no. get this channel. Yeah, the one time I used to love watching those movies. Those the list that last happened is like number five, cra crime rampant. Yeah. <laughs> rampant. Scranton. Can no. I can I add something? I had a lot uh, of things. I, I believe I that it. the thing that really broke less in there, unless if you're watching that if you're watching this, hello from the swims. Yeah. I think the thing that really broke them was the $5 uh, fee at the pool. Do you remember that? Uh, yeah. Les found the deed that said the pool should forever be free. So he did his own deed. deed. And Indiana Jones, like, that deed. <laughs> like, it says right here that the deed should forever be free. That's valuable. <laughs> That's valuable, be. though. It is. It is. It is. I need to know the truth. Oh, yeah. I really want to see him in the Indiana Jones outfit <laughs> with the whip. <laughs> and the, he, and probably the has one he, he probably, he probably like, hates like, like poodles. There's one animal he hates. Just like, that'd be a great movie. Can we get that on Channel 61? Can we have the... Indiana the, Jones? Indiana, the, the, the spinner, and like, you know, I was, he's a nice guy too. I watched a game at Whistles with him once. Oh really? Nice yeah, guy? So, I, hey, I, I, I don't know. I'm a big fan of yours. Thanks. I, I got to make a belly of you. Drink water. The eyes have spoken and so have it. You know, you've been very quiet. Are these guys just speaking uh, exactly what you would want to speak? I'm speaking through them. Are you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, this is, this is uh, Michael. Yes. Right? yes. And he's or is this Michael? Too. I'm no, that Mike, Mike. I'm Rick. No, 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 no. <laughs> hat. That's, That's right. Hat. Okay, Brian, Michael, <coughs> and uh, Rick. Kenneth. Rick. Yes, Kenneth. I'll take Ken too. Yeah, Ken's cool. Ken's good. All right, uh, best film of 2007. Michael. Um, I haven't seen a movie 2007. I haven't gone to the theater. I, I can answer this one seriously. Okay. No Country for Old Men. Oh really? I believe that was a. It was a fine film. We got a serious swimmers answer there. Yeah, That's yeah, good. that yeah. was my first. Yeah. That was my Things first are changing. Season. Things are, we're a new, we're yeah. a new band now. You're gonna be stuffy. We're talking from a new place. I did see 2007 best film. I don't think I saw any films. I did see the Polar Express. That was awful. It's terrifying, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's real a terrible scary. film. It really is. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't really watch a lot of movies though. Oh, I know what I. Ratatouille. Ratatouille. The, uh, animation one. Good one. Yeah, I saw I saw the second half of it over Thanksgiving. Um, my nephew had it. And it was a good ending, so Christmas saw the first half of it. It's uh, entertaining. Oh, pretty cool. good. Yeah, it's Ratatouille. Good. Yeah. Put that on your list. Weirdest moment of 2007, Brian? I'm still thinking about Les Spindler breaking into like <laughs> some of the things on there. <laughs> like sure having to is. swing over a pile of like snakes or something to, to get, get the this deed. deed. <laughs> it's, it's like out of like, some like, like corpse's hand. And then it comes alive. Could Bob Bolas be his father? Yeah, and then. Junior. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> this is ridiculous. And that's what he'll do. Is that Bob Bolas? No, that's that's my last one. That was last. I can't ridiculous. do Bob Bolas. I've tried. I'm related to him. Gonzal, gon, gon. I I can't do it. <laughs> I've I've had a pretty good, uh, pretty good last. Andrew Spraglia, uh, and and Debilio. Like I said, I miss him. You, know? you miss Gary? Well, it's not a good Jay Evans too. Yeah, she's Janet. Good. Yeah. She's gonna run for now. Me, I, I have noticed that since we've been coming here, I've got so I've got at least twenty five emails saying to the people that we need to address certain issues. That's very nice. That thing's pretty. You good. know, her husband's a big fan of this show. Is he? Up until now, it's I a mean. tribute. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, we're not poking fun. We're yeah, just, this is no. A, a these it's are public figures, really, and you could be pay, satirical. I would pay seventy five dollars to see you film it. Um, Les Spindler as the main character. <laughs> I, I think you're just you're such about, a great. <laughs> I'm thinking about Les Spindler in the actual recorder of deeds office, wearing that outfit at the computer. <laughs> the, the Indiana Jones outfit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but just standing there with like with the whip down his side. He typed. He would type with one hand, looking at the keys. What about like a voiceover while he's there? Like, <laughs> I was at the recorder of deeds. <laughs> I was there all we'll day. <laughs> windows. Why did it have like to be windows? Do like the Doom thing that they go with. It's, it's amazing. It's, 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 the whole thing is just amazing. You couldn't. Make it, you couldn't like get any writers to write the stuff no, that goes on. No. It's, it's absolutely incredible. Classiest man of 2007, classiest woman of 2007. I say Hat Wallace by the classiest guy. Classiest yeah. He's the classiest guy. guy. Look at him, he's yes. dapper. Yeah. He lives this up, him he lives up the line. Lives in the woods. He lives in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> he has skidoos. Look at that jawline, too. Really. He's got a great jawline. He really does. We thought we saw you in a, on a, a, sal a salon 
Found that. Is this the jaw? You mean? In the window. Uh huh. The classiest woman of 2007. Uh, Marissa Burke. Marissa Marissa Burke. Yep. Yourself? Classiest woman of 2007. Um. I don't know. You don't know. Always no. like Kelly Ripa. Kelly Ripa. Yeah, she's. She's this last year, she's gotten a little too skinny. Yeah, she has. And that's not, she it's has. Looking, looking sick when it's not. I mean, I don't know what's going on in personal life. It's uh, you know. She's married, has about four kids, right? Yeah, she's lost. Yeah, but she's she's lost a lot. The super skinny. But yeah, she TV should be. She's got like a little more meat on her bone, I think. Giant she's heads. Sure. They do. Sweetest moment of 2007. Frat boy Christmas. Frat boy Christmas, right that here. Is sweet. Right here, CB. Ooh. You guys have some gigs, gigs coming up. Hurry up, get them well, in. Well, we there. got some right. things. We're taking some time off to write. No, that's awful. We're not doing that. No, we're that not. is the worst thing. You just said we're say. taking some time. I know, off but I'm getting right over to my next my rant. I told you we're gonna go speeches today. That's awful. For a yeah. band to say I'm taking some time off to write. Yeah. Unless you're a huge band, like where you're that busy and you got to stop your touring schedule. If you're playing six, I don't care if you're playing twenty times a month, you don't need to take some time off to write. Right. right. It's awful. Right. It's awful. That's that's all I really wanted to say. Could we okay. take a little time to do some take backs that we've said on the show? Like I wish I didn't say gushers. Really? Yeah. Like I, I wanna you can't I wish I didn't say the PU uh, double snake slingshot one okay. either. All right, man. Oh no, that's cat. Yeah. They're cats. I know, but I got shouted at by Anything everyone. You wish you didn't say. I haven't said a lot yet. Okay. He's, I'm he, sure I'll find something I don't stand you've by. You said too much. I know I have. I, I wish I was a little quick. I regret that. Can you answer the question? <clears throat> no, you're great. I'm not But the sweetest moment, you guys you said You do mean like sweet as in like do that sweet? Yeah. I thought you meant that. I know you didn't mean that, but since we're hilarious, yeah. we had to twist it. Yeah. Frat boy Christmas. We, gotta be frat boy Christmas. we gotta be different. Yeah. Frat boy Christmas. It has to be unanimous. How about weakest moment of 2007? Frat boy Christmas. Frat boy Christmas. <laughs> frat boy Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. That was weak. Where dude, can people pick this seven up? Seven dudes on one keg, eight dudes on one um, At all participating MSC Vinyls, all uh, swims and money notes shows. And your website? Mm. Just go to our MySpace. And what is that? Um, MySpace.com backslash the swims with an I. Little, yeah. The swims, one word with an I. Yeah, exclamation They wouldn't point let us do work. the exclamation. No, and then you have a gig a coming character. up this weekend, right? Big yeah. gig. It's a ball. It's an event, actually. Well, and this Full is gig. on Saturday? <laughs> yeah. This is on Saturday at the, at the Apple Gallery. Which means we're going to carry our equipment into the place. December 29th. Yeah. 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 What time? Uh, starting at 6. 6 o'clock oh, right. Saturday? Right, we mean 6. It's not like uh, 6. Yeah. We'll start at 9.30. Yes. Yeah. And what's going on at this event? Well, um, me and uh, my award-winning friend Connor... Connor uh, McGuigan. Yeah, we're DJing. Yeah, we're doing a Hank. I, mean, yeah, I, I had the big one, but it's in it's in our agent's car. Okay. Yeah. That's our agent, um, Brian Everett over there. One Brian Everett, thanks agents. for bringing the donuts to the coffee, He's Brian. He's a great guy. Um, He's like the guy that the you know that Bono thanks at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, like the guy that really got us there. Yeah, yeah, yeah and he cries in the audience. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's gonna be some DJs out. going on. Me and me and Connor doing that going on. That's awful. I wish they didn't say that. Yeah. Take back. There's gonna be some DJs going on. That's yeah. awful. Yeah. Yeah. It's got that whole DJ meets like. Oh God. Well, he's gonna have that feel. Yeah, but our friend, our friends, the Orange Opera from Indiana, are gonna play. They're a band. They're really good. And then we're gonna do some more DJing, and then the Swims are gonna play, and then more music, and then we're gonna have door prizes. Uh, we're trying to set up like a photo booth thing. We can get your picture. It's gonna be a ball. Awesome. It's gonna be dressed nice. At Afa, it's, gonna be a, it's gonna be a, yeah, the snow out there. Which is on Lock One Avenue mm -hmm. in downtown Scranton. And it's yep. sponsored by uh, Embassy Vinyl uh, Magpie Vintage and uh, North Northern Lettuce Resto Bar. Yeah. Excellent. Door Excellent. prizes. We're giving away a lot of good stuff. Yeah. This Saturday, careful, <laughs> six p.m. Uh, till what? Midnight. <clears throat> yeah. Question mark. Question mark. There was yeah. a subsidence in the in the uh, sidewalk oh. in front of really? Afa last week. That's gonna be a great load in then. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. If you get there early, you can yeah, see yeah. us struggling. If anybody wants to help us out, load in. Then this is our free Fat Boy Christmas CD for anyone yeah. who wants yeah. to. Yeah. Anyone who lifts so much as a finger. We got another release. Oh, gee, here we go. We got a money. We got Which a Christmas is this? album. A That's Christmas album? Again, yeah, Embassy like Vinyl? On that yeah. Um, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you look great. Uh, it's awesome. <laughs> like it's half it's, a, a quarter, quarter of my face. It's awesome. It's a picture of you getting up in the morning. Um, I saw it on Summer Steps records. Summer Steps. <clears throat> you can get it off of Embassy And Vinyl that's also. with Eric Schlittler. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's Eric. Good egg. He's a very good egg. Um, uh, I, I just learned to say his name. It took me a while. Oftentimes I curse when I say his name. You probably would. And it's terrible. I feel embarrassed because he's a good man and I'm, I'm yeah. you know, defaming him. Uh, anyhow, this is Stories, Wisdom, and Recipes, and I have yeah. the swims on. Last question, then we're going to have another song. Right, Mark? Is it time for the song? Is it last really that question. Time yes, that that's time. That's the thing, isn't it, then? Here's the, uh, here's the last question. Most inspiring moment of 2007 and a bit of wisdom you can share, for pe share with people so that they can use it maybe in 2008. Mm. Most inspiring moment that you can think of. You're throwing it to me first, Larry? Yeah, I'm throwing yeah, it to I'm you first. You're, you're, you're pretty quick with this. I mean, your beard is pretty inspiring. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, as you can see, I'm a... I'm a I'm a bit of a BS beard guy. That's 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 where I want to be, Larry. Thank you, man. Um, so I, I'll you know I'll use that as my answer for now. Maybe I'll come up with something while while these guys are going. Wisdom. 
Wisdom? Give people a little wisdom. You know, you gotta get it going. You gotta take the shower, you gotta brush the teeth every day, you gotta pick the outfit. Pick the outfit at night, it makes it a little easier. Uh, you know, you're gonna have to eat, you're gonna have to get gas. Um, th these are the things that, these are the things that I could tell you about. <laughs> these are the things that I have to do. That These are the things that I have to do, you gotta get up. You know, put pants on. You gotta put some pants on. Wash you got it, but then you gotta go back down. Comes. You gotta keep sleeping. We don't. We don't stop sleeping. We're all sleeping tonight. Every one of us. You know. And then I. Oh, and also, I know I'm biting up some time, but if we could do this at you some tell. point, we could put a microphone in every single bedroom in every single house of, uh, in the city of Scranton, and then have huge cone speakers and uh, coming out of the Times Tower, recording everybody <laughs> snoring at once. And that sound would be fantastic, and that's what I want to do, because everyone snores. And if we got them all together in this one big snore, it, it would sound like a thousand blue whales. Wow, really that's, yeah. that's inspiring. And there's less than a thousand blue whales left in the wild. That's terrible. There's less than 3,000 tigers. Is there? Which I've recently gotten into. Tigers yeah, really big amazing. cats are They're really, really awesome. Big cats. Wisdom? Oh, great. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah I'm talking to you. Wisdom. The guy who's wearing the, the greasy um, ref uniform. I need one more bit of wisdom from the three of you. Give me one more bit of wisdom to share with people. I quoted Poison last year. You did quote Poison last year. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, I forgot about oh that. God. Wash your hands up to your elbows real good after yeah. you handle wood. Don't try to be everything to everyone. Somebody said to me. He had, they actually asked me, Yo, Brian, why do you got to be everything to everyone? And then walked away. So <laughs> don't try to he be He would incorporate everything. his girlfriend's name in every piece of art he did. That, that sounds wimpy. He had a big letter on his car of his girlfriend's name. Oh, that's real wimpy. Do I know him? Uh, you don't want to. Okay. If there's a bottle in your car, like a water bottle in your car that you stare at every day, throw it out. Throw it out. Yeah, just don't be a jerk. Don't you be know? A jerk. Yeah. Don't be a jerk. Don't be a jerk. Throw it out. God. I think we're good. I think we have enough wisdom. So, all right. Yeah, you guys are fantastic. I have to split, so I'm going to get changed while you're playing this. Thank you right so now. much. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to once again have the swims on the show, the end of the year. New Year episode. This is Stories, Wisdom, and Recipes. They're going to play another tune for you. If you're getting uh, this in through that box in your TV room, before the 29th, or on the 29th of December, stop down to Affa Gallery on Lackawanna Avenue. From 6 till midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning, there'll be a lot of good stuff going on, featuring the swims and the Orange Opera, Connor McGuigan, DJing, live music, original music. Again, that's at Affa Gallery. December 29th, at, uh, that is on uh, Jefferson Avenue in downtown Scranton. And uh, what did I say? Jefferson, Jefferson? You holy lock cow. You should lock one down. Lock one, and not Jefferson. I'll be on Jefferson. And all I have to offer to you is uh, hopefully this year is a peaceful, happy new year. I wish you the best. Thank you for watching throughout the year. We'll be back in February with brand new episodes. A lot yeah, of good people. Prepare. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. This is a great show. Oh, it's a ball. It's a, for a, while. It's a ball. Thank you very much for the props there. I appreciate Thanks it. For the so without further ado, we have for you Center Eye, original yeah. composition by The Swims. Happy New Year. times you wouldn't let me impress you wanted you to step inside now I think should I let you lady pulls by she's wearing love on her dress shoes and now she's got me holding her hand tell me why does it get you So go get some wild We're gonna plug in the ceiling And see if this thing works at all And if it's even convenient I wanna keep you here I wanna tell you all around But I'm shooting hoops and cavalry boots and it's no wonder I'm missing now Do you even know what it's like To ride upon a bicycle built for you Do you even know what it's like To ride upon a bicycle built for you I know 
Channel 61 for everything, seriously. Honestly. Thanks for showing up, guys. You're sitting on gum there, Rick. Almost. Let's break down. Let it be. 